Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, we're going to be changing the air filter on my Volvo S80 D5. Now, this is the same process for any Volvo P3 generation car, uh, whether you've got the inline six, the 2.5 turbo petrol, um, any of them are going to have the same process. So, um, yeah, let's get straight into it. So I've got a lovely man filter here. I like to go with man. Uh, this is pretty much the OEM. I think they use Bosch on these, but um, these are the same sort of quality. On Amazon, £15. I'll stick a link in the description below. Um, the only tool you're going to need for this is a T25 Torx. If we can get the... Uh, there we go. Is it going to focus on it? There we go. It's one of these star ones. And if you don't have a kit, uh, one of these, I definitely recommend this Makita kit. As you can see, you've got every, uh, just about every Torx thing you can ever want. And uh, yeah, we're going to be using this Torx 25, uh, which is a good little bit of kit. There you go. So um, that is that. So let's get straight into it. It's a dead easy job. Should only take us a few minutes. First thing you need to do is just remove these Torx bolts and that's what you need the T25 for. There's one, two, three, four. Uh, there's one at the back which I've actually taken out and thrown away because it's useless. Um, and there's also one just hidden down in here. Now realistically you only need to do these three, uh, four even, and you can pull the box up enough to slide out the old filter. So let's get to work removing these. Oh, that's a good start, isn't it? There's one now. They don't come all the way out. They'll sit in the lid of the box. Remain in there, so you don't have to worry about losing them. Just be careful of this mass airflow sensor line here. It's a bit of a faff. Sometimes, sort of, make access a struggle. Just, um, just undo this one and then we'll have one more after this. There we go. Okay, so now we should be able to lift the box up enough, as you can see and pull the filter out. Now this filter has definitely seen better days. Okay, as you can see, this filter uh, has definitely trapped a lot of crap. So, um, obviously I live in quite a rural area. It's picked up a lot of, we've got a bug in there, um, but mainly sort of hay and grass and rubbish like that um so what when you if you live in a rural area you probably want to be changing this filter more frequently than if you live in a city area now this has actually been 15,000 miles i can't believe how long it's been um but realistically i probably want to be changing it nearly every fuel or uh, every oil change um so but just under 10,000 miles in my book for where i live because as you can see the amount of stuff you pick up is absolutely unreal um, and what I'll do now is I'll get the other one out and show you guys the difference okay so as you can see we've definitely got um, gonna be a massive improvement uh, with this newer one now for those of you that don't know the air filter or having a clean air filter makes the car more fuel efficient um, it means that the air can get into the turbo quicker uh, into the engine quicker um, and really just makes the car run a whole lot better it's much less restricted imagine if you had uh, a face mask um just going to go kobe related but a face mask that was covered in rubbish compared to a lovely clean new one um it's just much easier to breathe through so um, that's why you try and change these before they get to this state um so yeah let's get this one in um and that'll be that now, I forgot to mention, but obviously, comparing the filters is a good way of telling whether uh, you've got the right one or not. So, um, this is fairly self explanatory the installation of this filter. It can only fit one way due to this cutout here. Um, so, you're just going to lift the box up, slide it in, and what you need to make sure is that you don't get this seal 
or the, the sort of the pink rubber trapped anywhere this gasket um, it should fit in nicely and create a good even seal just push it around all the way and there we go so what we're going to do now is just do those bolts back up or the torx screws and then we'll be good to go now it's tempting to buy really cheap filters um, but essentially what they do is they allow more rubbish into the engines now you can buy um, high performance K and N filters um, and they're good um, however they require maintenance you can't just replace them they're more expensive um, and actually in the long run they let more sort of rubbish through into your car because they're less restrictive um, and they can clog up mass airflow sensors causing engine lights etc so um, just bear that in mind if you're considering a performance air filter there we go we just want to make sure these are nice and well sort of shut this air box uh, you don't want air seeping out because if you've got a, a leak then um makes the engine less efficient again but um there we go and just like that guys we're done it only took a few minutes didn't it but um it's sure it's gonna make an absolutely massive difference so um what i like to do is just keep the box you can bung the old filter in the box chuck it in the bin and uh yeah really nice and easy only one tool uh, like i said if you haven't got a, a bit kit like this then take a look in the description down below um, I'll include a link to it to Amazon. It was only about 15, 20 quid. Um, and it is an absolute lifesaver. Anything to do with cars, you can pretty much do undo every screw on a car with this kit. Mixed with a socket set, you're unstoppable. So um comes with a little, little ratchet as well. It's all nicely made and I think it's steel, aluminium, I don't know. But um, yeah, very nice indeed. And also I'll include the filter link as well so you guys can order one of these on amazon prime and it'll arrive next day but um yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe i think this is probably one of the easiest jobs you can do on a volvo so um let me know let me know how long you leave it between changes as well um like i said i really shouldn't have left it this long i just couldn't quite believe how long that i'd missed one um but uh yeah as you can see it was long overdue fifteen thousand miles worth so um Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know below what's the easiest job what you've done on your Volvo. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.